Okay. Welcome to today's grand final between Wanneroo and Thornley, the 1998 Reserves Grand Final. Wanneroo have uh, won the toss and will kick to right of screen. Umpires today, central umpires are Brendan Ball and Gavin Levetsky, and they will take over proceedings very shortly. What should be a very close contest. Thornley during the year losing only the one game, so will be no doubt favourites for this game. Okay, umpire Levitsky, I think it's got the ball in hand. And down it goes now. We start the grand final. And away we go. Johnson gets the knock down quickly now. Socket off the ground by the Rumaru. They go forward. Stampley are outpointed there. Picked up with Thornley, go forward. Quickly. Through O'Halloran. He's met solidly. They're going in hard to start with. Oh, great tackle from Stampley. Ball spills free. Picked up by, by Barry. Chapman couldn't quite get hands, but gets the handball out to Cooper. Cooper back to Johnson, too far from him, but there's... C Cable's got the ball now, and he finds in the middle of the old grade, Fox, Robbie Steele. Steele now looking for leads up forward. Goes now, one centre half forward. No one home for Wanneroo, though. And a good defensive mark, taking right McDonald. there by... Didn't get that, missed that one. McDonald goes out wide to Jason Holmes. Holmes kicks up the ground. Very good kick to Paul Eddie. Eddie. Paul Eddie's got the ball for Thornley on the far wing now. Eddie goes forward. On the Lock. lead. Oh, West drops it. Handbook come out. Slump kicks quick into the forward line. Shane Curry in front. Drops an easy chest mark. Should have, should have wrapped that one up, Scott. That should yes. have been a simple mark, mate. Very easy. Had the, had the break and... Uh, couldn't hold on to it. So Nervous. now we have a boundary throw in about 25 metres in the formerly forward 50. Tap down. Great hands. Jason Holmes snaps from the ruck tap. That's and out on the full. Goals out of hands on the full. Paul Bell to bring it back in for one Roos. Told to go back over the mark. Gives a short one off quickly to Ricky Roberts. Ricky Roberts has got the ball now in the back pocket. Goes to the longer kick now. And again for one row. No, it's gone through the hands of uh, Reina. Comes out the back now. Thornley with the numbers. Good hands out there. Holmes kicks it forward now. Lewis tries to spoil. And, and the free kick. kick. Lewis with the hand on the shoulder has given away the kick. Shane Curry has the ball for Thornley. On about a 45 degree angle, about 30, 35 metres out. Right Not behind this one. Breeze. Runs in, stabs at it. Pulled it left. And pulls it to the left. We have the first score for this afternoon. On a Bennett's Hardware scoreboard, thirdly one point, Wanneroo yet to score. Ball's brought in quickly. Chapman now. Chapman's got the pace there. Runs off him. Keeps the ball in. No, he doesn't keep it in. Tried to keep it in, but it ran the ball out of bounds. On the far wing. In the Thornley attacking half. Oh, big knock there from McDonald. Puts Thornley back into attack again. At the moment, Thornley first to the ball, leading one row to it. The shot at goal there. By oh, poster. By Shane Millington. Rich is just play. the one point. Two points, Thornley, one row yet to score. Thornley doing most of the attacking the early part. Kicking with the breeze, it's a bit blustery, probably worth a couple of goals. That's a better kick in. Long That's outside okay. the 50. Oh, and a great good mark. Solid mark in front there by Rocco Halloran. Kicks it long now into the forward line. Wayne Rayner pushes his man beautifully on the ball with the use of the body and takes a strong mark. 
Looking for someone to kick it to now. Oh, couldn't quite hold on to it though. Oh, the ball squirts out the back. He, he's overrun it as well. Waldron's back in there, gets the handball out. Couple of one replays there now. Oh, good hands up. Didn't quite go to hit the target. A lot of pressure on here early. Chapman butters up again. And once again, the ball's dragged over, over the line out of bounds. Yes, both sides feeling the pressure at the moment. Uh, a lot of fumbling. And the ball not really hitting the targets just as yet. Probably the nerve's still a bit, Scott. Yeah, I'd say so. It's a big day. Up the go. Johnson gets to knock down this time. Straight to Thornley. Jason Holmes runs to 50. Puts it high. It's coming round. That's another behind to Thornley. By Jason Holmes. Daniel Banjo, the one who captain, bring the ball back into play. Gone Goes in short, short oh, dangerous, but taken, the mark taken very well there. In the center of the ground. And a free kick given away there by Robbie Steele. And Paul Eddie will get the kick. No, he won't. No, it's coming back to Craig Eugene. Looking for something up forward. Not much movement. There's a kick. Over the back, no one there roving the pack. Wanneroo runs it out. Bajo again gets the ball out quickly. Oh, great mark there. And oh, Wally, beautiful ball control there. He runs now, takes two bounces, takes three bounces. Goes, kicks long, kicks into the fresh air to nobody there. Still running onto the ball. Don't think he's gonna get there in time though. Thorley with the numbers though. Oh, oh. the handball goes astray. Sheriff picks the ball up, and Wanneroo broke loose now. And has gone and hit him right on the chest. I think that's Willie. Rod Willie. Rod Willie now. Into the breeze, probably about 35 to 40 out. But directly in front. See how much this holds up in the breeze, Scott. One of his first sort of thrust forward. He hasn't made the distance. He has made the distance. He's pulled it left. And it's just a one behind. So Thornley still lead. Three points to one point. We're we'll going about five minutes into the first quarter. Dean Scuffin kicks in for Thornley. Oh, well, Wally missed it. Steals there. Doesn't take possession of Thornley it though. Let's it go. Thornley run the ball. Wally gives chase, but Thornley have got numbers there. And it's not That's a very good kick there by Jason Cable. Holmes. Cable comes out wide to the to the lead of the lead of Cooper. Didn't see that. Cooper gives it back over to Cable. Cable goes out wide to Bazo. And Cypher gives away a free kick for too high. And down the field. Bazo's got the ball. Any number of possessions early in the first quarter, Bazo. Kicks it towards an R4, looking for the Ruckman Johnson. Johnson goes up, makes a contest. Sheriff gets the ball now. Gets it over the top. Steele's running loose. Can he mark it? He does. Can he get the handball on? Uh, not quick enough. There's three blokes loose everywhere for Wanneroo. Didn't get the ball on quick enough. Well, sport there by Craig Harding and Pathorny. They have the numbers on the ground. On Runs it out, kicks to the centre of the ground where Thornley have the numbers on. Another fumble there by Thornley. Lewis gets it, takes one bounce, comes through the centre, looking for someone loose. He finds Steele out wide. Ball doesn't bounce kindly for him. Finally gets possession. Looking for someone to give it off to. He finally does. Cable's there, gets around him. Back to Steele though. Steele again, back to Cable. Good teamwork from the Wanneroo boys. Cable kicks it long now, looking for Walden. Oh, sorry, Humphreys. Humphreys out well, he's there to make a contest of it. The ball goes to the ground. They go in hard there. Wanneroo try to keep the ball in the forward line. And there will be a bounce up in the right half forward flank for Wanneroo at about 60 metres out. Still no goal scored at the moment. No one reads that goes bounce. forward again. Normally there in numbers, and ball goes over long and out of bounds for a throw in. Ten metres closer to the Wanneroo goals. At 35 out now. Right half forward flank. There's a throw in. No one reads the pack, still scrum forms. Quick snap for Wanneroo, he goes forward. And I that's a goal. Oh, it's come oh, off his hand. on the line. Didn't bounce, didn't bounce for him. And another behind, I think that's to Rod Willie again. Couldn't 
quite jump in the air high enough. He's got to get his boot to it. Yeah. He's kicking from Dean Scuffin, goes out to the left side of the ground. It's Craig Eugene there by himself. Brings the ball into the centre of the ground and finds Paul Eddy. Hands over the top to uh, Beal. Beal dodges one tackle, spins, hands it off. Paul O'Hallon running hard through the centre, breaks the first tackle, keeps going, drives hard and long at the forward line. And it's a good mark there on the chest by Adam West. About 25 metres out on a slight angle. In comes West for his shot at goal. It's a good looking kick off the boot. No, he's missed. And it's the no, first goal of Thornley, kicked by Adam West. Scoreboard now reads Thornley 1-3, one, Wanneroo one, two points. Good passage of play there, Scott brought the ball out of full back. It was a very good passage of play through the centre of the good ground. Through a Halloran. Okay, so the ball's back in the centre of the ground. Umpire comes in to bounce the ball. Both Ruckman miss it. Still in the centre, thrown out the back. Roberts knocks the ball forward. Chapman doesn't take possession of it. Knocks it forward. One of those Wally runs, runs forward. Picked up again by Humphreys. He handballs it out though. Handball doesn't find the target. Wally's still in there for one of the He has dispossessed, hasn't got the ball on by and uh, now Thornley's going to get the kick. Over the shoulder. Missed the first one, got the second one, Scott. Yes, that uh, sums it up, doesn't it? Oh, good pass. Back to the centre of the ground. Oh, Jason Holmes drops another easy chest mark for Thornley. Scotty fancies for Wanneroo, gets the ball now. Oh, he's wrapped up in a tackle. Great tackle from Thornley. Oh, umpires deem that a throw. Is it one scoop or two? Roberts Wanneroo kicks a high ball into the breeze, holds up. Ball comes out the back. On the 50 metre line there for Wanneroo. And the umpire comes in the ball all up. About 14 minutes into the first quarter here. It's all near by seven points. And yeah, nerves are still showing. Still a lot of skill errors being made. Chapman picks the ball up beautifully on the left foot now. Not a very good kick. Ricky Hayman can't get control. Backs back though. Hayman, oh, ball beautifully smelled it. He got it again and get the handball out wide to Chapman. Chapman on the left. Ducks, dives, weaves, puts the ball back into the centre. And uh, Stone Sheriff. I think that's, no, am I right? I think it's Stone Sheriff's got the ball. Yes, it is. A marshal. Has the ball about 25 metres out on a slight angle. Trying to put one of his first goal on the board. Looks pretty good from off the boot. That's, that's, that's a major. And then we get their first goal. Two stone sheriff. Stone sheriff one of kicks his first. It's only now 1 3, leading 1 2, 1 2, as we played just over 15 and a half minutes in the first quarter. So, back in the centre on the ground here at Gosnell's Oval. Umpire comes in, bounces the ball. Not a very good bounce. Favours a Thorny Ruckman. Troy McDonald kicks it forward. Well done by Roberts. Roberts takes possession at the centre half back for Wanneroo. Kicks it forward. Oh, ball falls to the deck. Stamper Lee gets it. Ducks one tackle. Goes to a centre half forward line looking for Heyman. Ball's out in front of him. He takes possession. Very well done. Shot off to Shackle. Goes towards goal. Cross the face. Oh, still in play. And well now done. it's out. Out in the Wanneroo forward pocket. Left forward pocket. About 10 metres around from their goals. Ball in now. Buckman contests. Donald and Johnson comes down to Thornley. Handballs it out though. Oh, soccer off the ground. 
Well done, Jason. Only no, lead the race. Pick up. Breaks the first tackle. He's away. Kicks out wide to Clint Slump. And the ball goes over the boundary line. On the wing on the far side of the ground. Slightly in Wanneroo's attacking zone. Holy moly, look at those. Okay. Ball thrown back in again. Ruckman contest. Thornley seem to be shite on the ball a bit from the uh, Rucknocks, Scott. They seem to be winning on the ground at the moment. The free kick's been pulled out and given to Scotty Francis for Wanneroo. Francis goes forward now into the centre half order region. Good contest from Sheriff. Ball comes out in the middle of the ground though. Everyone overruns it at the moment. Oops, stacks on the mill. And up I will once again bounce the ball up. On the edge of the centre square in the Wanneroo area. Rod Willie gets a knock for Wanneroo. It's only trapped the ball on the deck though, sock it off the ground. Roberts can't get possession, Stample is in there, he gets it out now. Drags one tackle, oh, could a high one there, I thought. Oh boy, I didn't play it, play goes on now. Thornley go forward again. Jason Holmes with pace, oh, cheekily shows the ball of Wanneroo. Goes from 45, and misses to the right hand side. That was good desperate play there by Jason Holmes. A result of a free kick I thought that should have been given in the middle there when a player got grabbed a little high. Yes, it was a little bit high there, Glenn. But very well, as you said, very well played by Jason Holmes. He took his took his opportunity. The ball comes back into play now. One to kick it high to the edge to nobody. And there's a push being given there. And a lot of ability for Wanneroo will take the free kick. Williams in our back position. Kicks forward now. Now they're looking for Chapo. Chapman gets control. Look for someone to give it to. Gets a handball off to Cooper. Cooper goes out underneath to Humphreys. Humphreys looks forward now. Oh, can't take the mark. There is... Um, can't quite pick that number up out there. It was Shane Bruce. Sheriff, I think, wasn't there? He's kept the ball in play in the Wanneroo forward line. And another bounce for Lockheed. Willie Good again tap gets out there, boy. Wanneroo. Wanneroo got to seem to have numbers around there. The ball's now knocked forward. Picked up by Paul O'Hall on another high kick. And that looks like it's out of bounds on the full. He's seen a fair bit of, fair bit of footy in the first quarter, Scott O'Halloran. He had a number of positions. Yes, he has. He's uh, playing a good, solid game, as he uh, always generally does. I hope that wasn't our car they wanted to tow away, Scott. OK, here we go. Bring the ball back into play now. One row takes Sheriff, takes possession and takes the mark. 55 out. Looks for a short lead. The lead's on to Heyman. Heyman takes a good mark. About 30 metres out, directly in front. The leading full forward with the one who reserves this year, Ricky Heyman. The glove one. There is Michael Jackson impersonation, takes the glove off. Goes back, he's only about 25, 30 metres out. Directly in front. Just kicked the one the lead. And he comes. Very deliberate at his shot. Good looking kick pulled off the it, boot. Pulled it left. No, he's pulled it left, and that's another behind for Wanneroo. Kick by Ricky Heyman. So it's only lead 1 4, Wanneroo 1 3. We now play 20 and a half minutes into the first quarter. Dean Scuff and the bring it back in for Thornley. Kicks it right up the oh, middle of the ground, right kick. to the centre square inside it. And a great mark. Good mark there by Paul Hetty. He goes back. The advantage of going down the centre, Scott. It was a great kick. Was a good kick, good long kick. The only way to kick out a fullback. Chapman dives after it, gets the handball. Oh, good play there. Wanneroo with numbers again. Rayner kicks it back to forward line out for Wanneroo. But pull the ball's Eddie. Well, Rove by Eddie and a good pass there. Oh, Clinton Slump drops and another easy mark. That's picked up by Chapman. Get the number of possessions early in the first quarter, Chapman. Oh, good hands from Sheriff. Great hands. Scotty Francis, there's a loose play. Oh, it's gone over his head. If the Shepherd's on, he, he can run away. He does on the left foot. Cooper kicks it forward, though. 
And it looks like it I think has. He's kicked it through for a goal. He has. Found through. Great play from Monaroo. And Dave Cooper kicks a goal. Monaroo hit the front for the first time in the game. Some good shepherds there, some good handballs. Great handball in the centre there. Good running play there by Wanneroo. Chapman doing some very good things in the far wing in the first quarter, had a number of possessions so far. So the ball's back in the centre again. The umpire comes into bounds. There it is, that's a very good bounce. Straight up in the air. Tapped out by McDonald. Slump comes through. Sands out too. Balls a bad kick there by Rainer. Rainer. And we'll have another Wally. ball up. Still inside the centre square, but favouring the falling end of the ground. <coughs> There's a bounce. Wonder has the rovers. Well roved. Brennan Barry in front. Cooper on the deck. Five going, taps it, it out. Though. Another drop mark there by Thornley. They're going to start hanging, hanging on to them marks. Oh, and the banjo umpire has gone over. A free kick to get over that white line. And Peter, Paul Bell will take the kick. Paul Bell on the right wing for Wanneroo. The umpire went arse over just then. OK, Bell kicks the ball forward again for Wanneroo. Up they go, steal the flyer from the back. Cooper tries to find the boundary. Can't find it though. Thornley keep it in. Still in play, right on the edge of the boundary. Kept in play beautifully there. And a short kick. Steele knocks it down to Sheriff. Sheriff can't take control. O'Hallor gets a handball out. Down to Kenny Crook. Looks into the centre of the ground. And there's a run of Paul Eddy running straight through the middle. Looks up forward. Here comes Ryan Seif on the long lead. Picks it on one bounce. Good turn. Gets around his man. Picks the ball up again. Dodges the... Looks up. Has a shot at goal. And he's missed by the looks of it. And that's another behind there. Kicked by Ryan Seifer. On a route 2 3 at the moment, leading Thornley 1 5 late into the first quarter. Syrah not far away. Two minutes. Kick in comes in short from the one full fullback. Possession taken by Rayner, I think it is. Oh, Chrissy Cable. Chrissy Cable's got it. Goes out wide now looking for Lewis. Oh, should be a free kick there. Yeah, yep. no. Lewis plays on quickly now. Not a good kick for Wanneroo though. And, oh, and there's been a kick given against him. And it'll be 50 shortly if he doesn't get the ball back in a hurry. Ball given back quickly. Wanneroo away. Here they go. They've got the loose man now. And he's taken the mark. Scotty Francis is off now. Moves forward quickly. Ricky Heyman down there trying to fight there. It's going Sheriff to the, to the ground. Picks it. Looks to try to screw it back. He does. But it's taken by Thornley. And Brendan Barry runs it out. And here's Paul Eddy on his own again. He takes one bounce, running down the wing. He looks up forward. He kicks it to the 50. Shane Carey in front, and he's got a free kick. Well, that's a silly free there. kick given away there. There's no need to interfere there. No excuse for that free kick. We go to this breeze, he should go very close from their spot. And then goes the siren, so this will be a very interesting shot after the siren to give Thorne in the lead. So Shane Carey... In the centre square at the moment, who runs a 50. In he comes. There's a kick right on 50. It's high, it's in the air. And it's off to the right hand side again. And another behind there, kicked by Shane Curry for Thornley. So at quarter time in the grand final for 1998, Wanneroo are two goals three. Currently lead Thornley, who are one goal six.
OK, about to get underway for the second quarter here of the 1998 Grand Final. At quarter time was Wanneroo 2-3, leading Thornley 1-6. Goal kickers Wanneroo, Dave Cooper 1, Stone Sheriff 1, and the single goal scorer, scorer for um, Thornley was Adam West. Right, we're about to get underway here for the second quarter. In comes umpire for the bounce. Wanneroo kicking with a slight breeze. There's a bounce. Tap down by Wanneroo. Johnson steal off the ground. Doesn't go further though. Wanneroo with the numbers of the ball. Can't get control. Cooper gets back into it now. Knocks it forward to their advantage. Thornley had the numbers. Troy McDonald still controls the ball well. Has a look upfield. Delivers to the centre. Clint slump on the lead over his head. Out to Chapman now. Great handball out there. Chapman getting a number of possessions in the first quarter. One of the better players in Wanneroo. And a great pass there. Hits Scotty Francis on the chest from about 50 metres. He goes long. That's not a bad kick actually with the breeze, but it's going a bit to the left. And just the one behind. So we start the second quarter. Wanneroo get the first score on the board. Move to two for four to Thornley. One goal, six. Right, Dean Scuffin to bring it back in. Kicks it to himself and plays on. Goes out wide, over the 50. Pack forms. Ball hits the ground. No crummers. Steelo bursts through. Hands out. Ken Crook runs away with it. Kicks it out to the wing. No one out there, so the race is on. Clinton Slot pulled in the big ones. First one there. One to two, and he runs it over the boundary line on centre wing. Ball comes in, the Rackman aren't there yet. They finally get there. Troy McDonald taps it down. Shane Millington. Oh, it took the eye off the ball. Hands it out. Seem to have more numbers of the ball. They're still getting there. Ball in the forward 50 for Thornley. Roberts kicks it over his head, looking for Johnson. Johnson can't mark. Tap forward though. Play on. Vandy's play on now. Wanneroo really come through the getter. Through the middle. Walden's got the ball. Goes out wide now, looking for. Sheriff, can't mark, ball comes to the back of the pack. Nath Moroni has it, handballs in the ground, on to Dean Scuffin. Should have used his right foot there, but didn't. Wally and Chapman fight over it, Chapman gets the handball back out. Scotty Francis kicks it forward. Ricky Heyman at the back, oh, there's a relay free kick being given, I believe. No, it looks like it's got to come back, Glenn. Oh no. Yep, Ricky Heyman for Wanneroo has the kick of at 15 metres out directly in front. I didn't see what that free kick was for, did you, Glenn? No, mate, didn't uh, didn't catch that. And he makes no mistake about it. <laughs> Costly mistake there from Thornley. Didn't seem to be too much in it, though, Scott. Didn't seem to be too much ruckus after that, did there? No, no. It was, so uh, uh, I've got no idea what that was for. Might have been a fairy tap or something. One of those soft free kicks at... No one can work out what they're for. So Wanneroo kicks their third goal. They lead Thornley three goals four to one goal six. About three minutes in there to the second quarter. It's just looking like Wanneroo has settled a little bit quicker than Thornley has. I've just seen a couple of great bounces. OK, now, ball's bounced down again. Up they go. No one wins the top. Johnson gets it. Gets a boot to the ball. Kicks it forward. Well, he's got it now. He goes from about 65. Tries the underground pass. Doesn't work. Heyman can't get control. Humphreys is in there. Gets it out now. Goes out wide. Well, Billy's there, but he can't get possession of it. Wonder who's still there at the moment. Heyman's got it. On the right of his right. I think, the, I think he's kicked another one. And that's another one. I think he has. Yes. Another goal by Wonder who. Ricky Heyman kicks his second in a minute. And Wonder who go to 4-4 now. Leading Thornley 1-6. Got a nice break early in the second quarter. Just weight of numbers there, Scott, pushing the ball forward. That was too. A little bit more desperate at the ball with Wanneroo then. Better player to Wanneroo at the moment is Chapman, Wally and Bazo. And for Thornley, probably Thornley. Eddie O'Halloran. And uh, Troy McDonald working very hard Getting in the centre of the ground as well. So we've now got Ryan Cypher in the centre to take the ruck knock. 
We'll have Troy McDonald who's going down to the forward pocket for well earned rest. There's a bounce. Cypher gets his hand to it first. Bazo, great handball out the wide there. Stampalia, he's gone. Cooper gets it back there, back to Bazo. Playing a great game, Bazo. Bazo still gets his man out of the way. Sheriff tries to keep the ball in, and the ball's forced over the line and out of bounds for a throw in. About 60 minutes out from the Wanneroo goal. Yes, Wanneroo just seems to be taking it away from the centre of the ground very easy at these early stages of this second quarter. It wasn't the case in the first quarter with Thornton seemed to be getting the ball away. That's correct. Well, it's going to be a push there. Not, not seen. Play on now. Brendan Berry picks it up, has a look. Oh, he gets tackled by Steelo. Ball still in the forward 50 for Wanneroo. Sheriff looks for Wally. Oh, oh a bit two Thornley boys run into each other. Wally's got, he can't get a handle on it though. Oh, great That's tackle though, great oh. tackle. Oh, it's a terrific tackle. And now we have a bit of a how to do. And I thought that was held to him just really too quickly. And it's I, I thought the season was a bit quick myself, Scott. Yeah. I, I don't think he really had an opportunity to get rid of the ball. He, no. he wrapped him up beautifully in the tackle, but uh, the opportunity to get rid of it was, was a bit harsh. But we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Wally, lining up for his first one of the better players, one Roo. Just checking with the markies again. Umpire just showing him again. It's only about 30 metres out, straight in front. Wally comes in. And it looks pretty, looks good. pretty good from here. Yeah, happy. Another that's all we go. Boy, Chris Wally, that's his first. And one of them just extending their lead here. They now go to five goals, four. Two Thornleys, one goal, six. About six and a half minutes into the second quarter of the 98 grand final. Both benches haven't been used as yet, Scott. Some fresh legs to come on later on. Yes. And uh, this game could need the fresh legs by the end of it. <laughs> no, I would. OK, there goes the bounce down again. Especially with the legs like mine. Out comes Ryan side from the centre of the ground. Looks up forward. Great play. He's going long. Troy McDonald, one out. And oh, Lewis, good the mark. Spoil. Good hands from Cable. Gives it over to Roberts. Eyes. Roberts goes down the centre of the ground, though. Not a set his kick, but Johnson takes a good mark. Good strong mark there in front of Dean Scuffin. Johnson's got it now. Goes out wide. Nice long kick. Looking for Sheriff. Sheriff underneath the ball. Chapman knocks it forward. Steele's got it. Gets the handball back to Sheriff. Gets another handball out to Francis. Francis goes out wide there. Good Awkward ball, bounce. Beautifully ball. trapped. He sells a dummy around the first bloke. Gets around the second bloke. Geez, more dummies there than Myers front window. Taken by Steele. <laughs> Steele, short pass quick to Francis. He's starting to come into it a bit in this quarter. And Robbie Steele working extremely hard around the ground, getting plenty of possession for Wanneroo. Over the back, no one there. Craig Harding oh, great gets desperation. Back great desperation. Clearing kick by Paul Eddy. Wanneroo got the numbers here. Yeah, no, oh, Wally's got it. Over. Over. Oh. Oh. Wasn't, he fell over. Oh. Wasn't desperate enough Wally to go back and get it. Wally breaks the tackle, gives it to Craig Eugene. Oh, bet. Should have marked that. And the ball goes over the boundary line, right in front of the Thornley coach's box. Chris Worry lost the handle on then wasn't quite desperate enough to go back and onto that. Wonder who had the advantage, three to one. Could have made Thornley play for that. Yep, took his eyes off the ball and fell over. They all missed the ball again. Big elbow there from Cypher. Umpire doesn't see it. And he comes in and bounces it. Centre wing position in front of a big crowd here. Johnson, Cypher go up. Johnson gets the knockdown. No one can take possession on the ground. It looks like scooped out by Thornley. Same Cable can't gets get a hand on. Loses oh, again. And out of bounds. Thornley advanced the ball about 20 metres. Yeah, Ruckman fall over himself. 
Must be a circus act. Oh, there we go. Play on, and there's another bounce. Obviously been, practice, obviously been practicing that one at training, Scott. It uh, looks like it, yes. Typical John always on his back. OK, here we go. Johnson gets the knock to no one do, and the ball goes out of bounds. And the ball still in the same spot here in front of the Thorny coach's box. There's the niggling going on there between uh, Scoopum and uh, Wally. Still, though, actually, she gets a tap out. Eugene kicks high. Shane Curry tries a one-hander. Adam West picks it up, gets around the first bloke. He kicks long in the forward line. Troy McDonald lunges at the ball, falls over. Nick Lewis picks it up for Wanneroo now. Got Bazo on the on the run. Bazo's got the ball now. The little barrel gets the handball out to the Gold Grey Fox. The Gold Grey Fox takes one bounce now. Goes to centre half forward. Looking for Ricky Heyman. Ricky Heyman there. Can't take the mark. Ball comes to the back of the pack. And Thornley will get a free kick. Thornley will get the free kick. Jared Ernst to clear for Thornley. Goes out wide to Paul O'Halloran. Very and wide and the very wide out. and goes out of bounds. I tell you what, for an old bloke, Robbie Steele is finding a lot of space on this oval out here today. Okay, there goes the knock now. Knocked down by Sheriff. No one can take possession. One route try to kick some other though. They go back in hard there. Thornley, well done again. Brendan Barry runs it out of the back line. Kicks well. it off the ground to space. Who's going to be the first there? Rayner for one row. Rayner gets around the one tackle now. Kicks a mongrel kick. Absolute mongrel kick. No one can take possession of it. Hands out by Craig Eugene. Oh, there's right there's at the back by Kenny Crook. There's, oh, there was a little, um, there was a little forehand there that I saw Raf to play early this morning. Taken by Dave Cooper now, about 50 metres out. Not a bad kick, Cooper. Could be uh, pretty close. Gets close to the man on the bark, puts it up in the air, lets the wind do the work. It's going to be in the goal square. There's a big fly at the back by Wally. And he's taken, uh, the mark is taken by Heyman, I think. No, is that Rodney Willey? Rodney Willey it is. Sorry, Rod. Willey with a bit of height there, he's taken the mark. And from directly in front, should put one roof further in front. Bit of a change here coming off. Uh, Beal on for Paul O'Halloran. And it looks like Bealo's picking up Robbie Steele. Rodney Willie gets his first goal of the day. Now has 1 2. And Wanneroo moved to 6 4, Thornley 1 6. And on comes Stephen Hills for Wanneroo for his first run of the game. Andrew Walden having a break. So Wanneroo extend this lead. And then at the six goals, four to Thorny's one goal, six. That's 28 score. points now, Scott. Handy break early in the second quarter. Very handy break. Thorny haven't scored this quarter. Another bump of the there from the umpires. And another pack form in the middle of the ground. Scotty Francis. Looks like Wonder Who has just uh, lifted their intensity rate. Poof. That lift my intensity right, I'll tell you right now. Okay, there goes another bounce down. Johnson up again, gets the hand to it, can't get it, tries to get a boot to it. No, still not going. Has another attempt. Out comes Adam West, Just takes one stats. bounce. On the left foot, McDonald. He's dropped it, regains his feet first. No, falls over again, still going. Great play there from the one row defence, very hard. Picked up by Shane Millington, looks out wide. Craig Eugene takes a good mark. He's about oh, 40 metres out, slight angle, kicking into this breeze that uh, seems to be picking up and going down every now and then. And Craig Eugene should go very close to kicking this goal. To bring up Thornley's first score for the quarter. They need it. They need to keep back into the game. Chapman working the mark. Eugene comes in. Good looking kick from here, the, the boys boot. are happy. And it's straight through the middle for Thornley, kicked by Craig Eugene. That's Thornley's first goal for this second quarter, and hopefully that'll be the lift they need.
got Rod Gibson about to come on for one route. The enforcer. And Phil Johnson coming up for rest. Willie gets the knock for one route. To no one's advantage though. Bazo holds his ground. Captain playing a sterling game so far. Out to Bluey Granger. Who <coughs> his guts and gets it out to the far wing. That was a good play there by Bluey. Outnumbered. So we have another boundary throwing. McDonald wins the tap. No one down. Granger the first one back to it. Kicks Thornley forward. There's no one there. That's a good oh, mark, mark there taken by Adam West. He looks up. He kicks it long. Sife has got the sit. Oh, big fly there by Sife. It's a grand. Picks it up again. Handballs forward. No one there for Thornley. And one will run it out again. Bell has well, kicked one out wide. No one there, though. And it's hit Nathan Maroney right on the tet. Maroney into the centre now. Gibson tries to spoil. Affects it. Cooper on the deck. Gets, can, can't pick it up, though. Finally does. Slung off the ball. Ball socket off the ground. And in front is Chris Wally. And Wally takes the mark in the centre square. Wally off quickly now. Gets the handball off to... Oh, to Cable. Put he's, him into trouble. He's muffed it. And in a free kick. Then the play on is given. No. No, he's got no to go back. Managed, so ball comes back. Silly play there by Chris Wally. Just need to take his time. And Rogue assess his team. options. Kicks along in the forward line. Cypher has taken a good grab from behind. Thornley seem to be picking up a bit now, Scott. Seem to be getting a bit more of the footy. Yes, they've uh, lifted their work rate. Cypher lines up. He's going to be kicking from about 40 metres on a 45 degree angle. In he comes. Kicks it low. And it looks like it goes right. to the, sprays it to the right hand side for another behind the Thornley. So the ball will be kicked in for Wanneroo. Comes out wide to this near side. Thornley got the numbers. Brendan Barry picks up. Hands out. Clinton Slump on the ground there. And the ball's held up. And we'll have another bounce. On the half forward flank in the Thornley attacking zone. Willie gets the knockdown for one row. Gibson on the ground. Gets a handball out somehow. Scuffing. Out to Holmes. Holmes gets around the first plate. Looks up forward. He's coming back round. Shane Curry in front. Didn't quite attack the ball. Bazo to Gibson. Gibson caught. Back to Bell. Bell gets the ball out quickly to Cooper. Cooper's got it now. Looks in the centre stage. Will the kick be effective? Yes, it's marked by Cable. Chrissy Cable's got the ball now. Good handball there. Good use of the ball there by one around defence. Cable goes down to the centre now. Through the half forward line. Looking for Stone Sheriff. He can't take it. No one at the bounce of the ball. Ball eludes to Thornley. Picked up though quickly by Stan Blair. Stan Blair goes forward looking for Ricky Heyman. Heyman can't take possession. Steele's there though. Gets onto it quickly. Still there, Steele. Picks it up now. Steele's got it. Runs to an open goal quickly. And yes. And I think he just told the crowd that that was a goal. Didn't quite see you kick it. Dave, Stephen Sills it was. And that was a good play there by Robbie Steele. Didn't actually go for the goals himself. Made sure of it. Probably just as well. I've seen Steele like, kick for goal. He would have missed from there anyway, I'll steal <laughs> Oh, well done. Still picking up numerous touches. So, one Roo, 7 4 now. Thornley, 2 7. As we have a blue up here in the grandstand. I was waiting for the right to be thrown just then. Okay. Bounce in the centre of the ground again. Up it goes. Troy McDonald wins the tap out. Kenny Crook drops it. Didn't see who that was. Troy McDonald comes out with it. Hands over the Craig Udren. Adam West gets the ball. Runs in towards the 50. Cypher on the lead. Oh, Didn't Lewis quite attack it. Wanneroo back there with numbers. Well done by Wayne Rayner. Good play by Wanneroo. Getting the numbers back there when they count. Ball's out wide. Nathan Maroney's got a paddock. He should be able to have a look. Man's he stops. Awesome. Props. Kicks inside to Jason Holmes. Oh, I couldn't take possession. Shane Millington runs out. Oh, great tackle. tackle. 
And oh! the ball was going the <laughs> way. Oh! Good decision, umpire. Just him fair smack in the middle of the back. Oh, Scott's got his eyes closed. <laughs> That's a bad kick, but... Didn't take his time with that. Clinton Slop in front. Hustles. Wonder who have the numbers. Dean Scuffin screws it around his body. Back Lewis, Lewis wonder who's got it now. Lewis getting the back of the centre of the ground, though. Can't quite get it handled. Oh, still has the advantage, though. Picks it up now. Goes forward. Long kick into the forward line. No one can take the mark there. Jared Ernst picks it up. He runs that. He's tackled well there. By Stone Sheriff. Wanneroo has the numbers again. Sills has got it quickly. Gets it onto the left boot. Looking for Ricky Hayman. Outnumbered here. Three against one. And Craig Hardingham hitting the ball hard. Runs it out of bounds. It's the best they could have done for Wanneroo in that situation. Deep in the right half. Forward line for Wanneroo. Another change here for Wanneroo. Robert Lewis Davies off. coming Robbie Davies on. Run. Up they go. To the cheers of the Wanneroo fans. Craig Jujun has the ball. Bad oh, not kick. a good kick though. That's a great kick. Can he hold the cart? The oh. Seals can't hold the mark. Oh, that'd be close to a free kick, I'd say. Holy he's moly. He's it for too high and it looked like he grabbed him around the waist to me. Tried to rip his neck off. But Scotty Francis has another position in the forward pocket for Wanneroo. Very deep in the pocket. I think it's Stephen Sills. He comes for his kick. Close to the man of the mark. Pack forms. Craig Hardingham. Good mark. Good strong mark. Young Colts player has taken a good strong mark in the goal square. Not much on offer for him. Well, goes in the centre, that's a little bit dangerous, but Thornley have the numbers. Wanneroo very loose there. Hands over the top. Shane Millington, off to Jason Holmes, running hard through the middle of the ground. Kicks up the Clinton Slump, ball holds up in the air, and that's a good chest mark by Slumpy. He should be able to go back and kick this long. Cypher's on the lead, he's looking for him. There's a kick. Oh, good mark. Oh, and it's paid too high to Wanneroo. 22 minutes nearly, second quarter nearly over. Cable goes out wide, finds Robbie Davies for his first kick. Goes in short though. Not a real good kick. And Nathan Maroney picks it up and runs away with it. Kicks it forward to John Beale, who takes a good chest mark. Goes back. Bit of indiscretion. Goes into the forward line. Cypher from behind again. He's going to have to Another start playing kick. in front because that's a second free kick in the middle of two minutes there from uh, Ryan Cypher. Chapman's got it for Wanneroo. Doesn't do anything silly now. Good mark from Bell. Bell goes back now. Looks in the centre. There's a loose man in the centre there for Wanneroo. Scotty Francis. And that's a strong mark. A lot of pressure there by Beal. Have a shot. No, he doesn't. OK. Half time. Wanneroo 7-4. Leading Thorny 2-7. Okay, about to get underway here for the third quarter. The 1998 Reserves Grand Final between Wanneroo and Thornley. At half time we have Wanneroo 7-4, leading Thornley 2-7. Ah. Our boy holds the ball in the air, ready to bounce it now. Bang goes the air conveyance and we're away in the third quarter now. No one gets a decisive knock away. Ball on the deck. In. And there will be another ball up. <coughs> about five yards away from where he, five metres away from where he bounced it last time. It's a metric now, aren't we? <laughs> That's it. On your, your days now, Glenn. Johnson yeah. gets a knockdown. One row. Cooper gets a handball forward, though. Well played there. Brendan Barry taps out back to Troy McDonald. Kicks it over his short shoulder. Heading up the forward line for Thorny. Shane Carey grabs it with one bounce. And he gets a free kick too high. Plays on quickly. No, the umpire won't let him play on. Back, back over, over the mark, mark. son. 
So back he goes. Not much moving the forward line for Thorne. Here it goes. He kicks long. Looking for Cypher. Cypher goes to the back of the pack. Takes it. Plays on. Hands on to Craig Eugene who snaps the goal. And it goes across the face. And out of bounds on the full. <coughs> Should have made a bit, a bit of an effort there, Thorne. There, Scott, on the run. Very, very <laughs> exciting. <laughs> and we have a great view from up here in the back of the grandstand. Kick up. Okay, and a good mark taken by your McDonald. At the back of the pack. Thorny starting this quarter with a little bit more guts than than uh, they finished. And there's his mate Kenny Crook standing right behind him, cheering him on. There's a lead from Slump. He's looking for Slump at the back of the pack. Pushed out of it by his own teammate, and the Mac Mark is taken at the back of the pack for Wanneroo. By Wade Rayner. Kicks out wide. Chapman's got it now. Chapman on the left boot. Quickly. Sees the loose man out there. Can't pick it up. He does now. That's Ty Francis. Scotty Francis goes down to the half forward line now. Sun in the eye. No, no one takes a mark there. Comes to the front. And Paul Eddy clears it again for Thornley. Kicks over his shoulder back towards Jason Holmes. Who spalls and there's a free kick given. To be taken. Uh, yep. I think it was a free kick. Yeah, he, he indicated a push. Chapman gets it. Gets it on quickly now. On no the half volley to Gibson. Very ordinary kick from Chapman. Yes, he should have finished. Better, better from him. Should have hit the man. <laughs> he was on his own by a good five metres. In comes the throw in. Tap forward by Wanneroo, picked up by Paul Eddy. Hands out the forward of the pack. Craig oh, Eugene off to the running. Jason Holmes again. Looks into the wards of 50. Here comes Ryan Sofi! And that's a big grab by Young Side. About 30 metres out, directly in front. <coughs> this will be a good start for Thornley if he can put this one on the board. They need it. In comes Cypher. Kick on the way. A goal umpire does not move and it's right through the middle. Thornley get the first goal of the third quarter. Cypher's first for the day. Thornley 3-7 now. Trolley one ruse. 7-4. Good start this quarter so far, Scott. It was Glenn. Thornley's coming out firing and uh, that's what they need to do. Catching one on their back foot there. Mum and Dad should be very proud of that work. OK, now our player has the ball. Umpire um, the bounce of ball in the centre of the ground. The two ruckmen go at it. Brought down Johnson from Wanneroo. Jason Holm takes it off to Paul Eddy. Round the first one, round the second one. Knocked out of his hands. Taps it off the ground. Troy McDonald. Back to Paul Eddy. Kicks it forward again. Shane Carey in front. Should have attacked that a bit better. But Misses it, off to the bounce, goes in again. Comes well, out there by Wade Rainer. Rainer, made a contest of it. Stan Polia ducks the tackle now, goes forward, kicks it to the half ball on Wanneroo. Stone Sheriff can't take the mark. Well read by Brendan Barry. Oh, Paul oh. Eddie drops that. Time to recover. Goes out wide to Kenny Crook. Gibson, Rod Gibson leads the, uh, I wouldn't say it's a race, but he's in front. Gibson's still got control of it, gets it on the left, but a mongrel kick forward. Well, very ordinary bounce. He gets rid of it, Heyman tackles, well done. Now Heyman's trying to get the footy, jumps on it, keeps the ball, he comes out the back there, oh in hard they go now, ball comes out, tapped out again by Heyman, kicked in by Scotty Francis, but no one at home for Wanneroo and Thornley take a strong mark. Dan Scuffin goes short to Bluey Granger on oh, his own. Like an orphan. Kicks up the ground, Jason Holmes making space for him, oh. Oh, Stampalia gets front position, then he gets jumped on, well done by young Gavin Stampalia. And a nice little brother pitch of, on the bar. Brother of Brad Stampalia, and he will take the kick. <laughs> Looks in short now, there's a Caesar lean from Sheriff, that's a great kick, great lead and a good mark. Nothing up forward though, nothing moving there for Wanneroo, Thornley have got their, their men back there. Need someone to come into the gap here. Still nothing there for Wanneroo. No one moves, Steele's got to move for him. Kicks to the height of the top of the goal square. King Crook off the ground. Doesn't gain much distance. Still in the 40 Gibson. 50 for Wanneroo. Louis Granger fighting on the ground. Tatched that to Clinton Slump. Oh, Gibson runs the ball down. Oh, oh a bit of great bit of work there. Bet he's not a basketball player. That would have been sensational. They're going in hard now. 
Mate, that's taken hours of practice, that, Scott. Hours at team at training after work. Practicing that one. Yes. Yeah, just waiting for the spin off the nose, but it never came. Run out of room. There's a bounce from the umpire. Kenny Cook punches forward. Back to Gibson. Tackled well. Kill Linton slop again. Bad kick. I don't Scotty know where he's going. There's a couple of one-room blokes loose out here. Oh, the old fox has got it in the right full forward pocket for one -a About 30 metres out. Must have leprosy, Scott. No one wanted to go near him. That's <laughs> Leprosy. He's been around a while, the old fella. He can nearly do a hammy from this distance, Steele, eh? Comes in. It's a good looking kick off the boot. Just like he sprays it to the left-hand side. <laughs> Wanneroo moved to 7-5. First score in the second half to Thornley's 3-7. And we've played about six and a half minutes into the third quarter. Righto, Dean Scuffin to bring it back in for Thornley. He's going straight down the middle of the ground. Nice That's kick. another great kick from Steve oh. Scuffin. Finds Clinton Slomp down in his own. Plays on with the quick hands. Oh, great smother. Great smother. Oh, great smother there. From Sheriff, I think it was. One of the going hard again. Rod Willie knocks the ball forward. No one's advantage there. In again he goes. Comes out to Chapman. Chapman goes out wide now. Looking for someone. McDonald's there. Tackle again. Got a saddle put on him there. They go in hard. And once again, another bounce up. <coughs> There's a bounce at the back by McDonald. It's picked up by Eugene. Hands back to Paul Eddy. Paul Eddy's kick smothered in the center. And there's a free kick. That's Too high right. over the shoulder and it'll go down the ground. And it'll be taken by Shane Millington. It's a bit rough if it was over the shoulder. I didn't think it was down the ground, though. Oh, no, it's going back. No, it's not. I don't think anyone knows what they're doing out here. <laughs> Including the umpires. <laughs> that wouldn't be unusual. No, just another great consistent game from the umpires. <laughs> Shane Millington kicks it forward for Thornley. Over the back of the pack. Races on, Shane Curry. Oh, Rainer traps the ball beautifully. Gives the left hand off to Bell. Bell gets it now. Advantage played. Oh, Bell runs into trouble. Oh, no, no. it's going back now. Advantage no. not paid. And it'll come back to Wayne Rayner, and he'll take the free kick. <laughs> right, he's got the ball now. She's a lead out there, and, and not, not taken. Out of hands, just under the main scoreboard here at Gosnells. Showing Thornley trailing 3-7. To one row, seven goals, five. Stolen by Kenny Crook, a quick kick into the forward line for Thornley, and it's just outside in the. Oh, just outside the forward 50 for Thornley. Bazzo on the left boot, gets it forward now quickly. Gibson gets it. Moves the ball on. No one there, though. And another throw in on the wing position. Just have a look at the uh, runners out in the ground, uh, Scott. Don't know why they call them runners, mate. Look more like walkers to me. They certainly do. They're not doing a great deal of uh, running. Pace is very slow. Over the back it comes. No one can take possession now. And the umpire's in the kick. <laughs> one of his way. And Elastoplast, sponsored by Elastoplast, Rod Gibson, takes the kick. Kicks Wanneroo forward again in the front position there. And Wanneroo will get another kick. Shepherding out. They're yeah, doing well with these umpires, I Wanneroo. Well, it's cost us a fortune. It looks like it. There we go now. And uh, Looking for a lead now, finds one quickly. Kick short. Not a good very kick. Indirect. And Thorny will take the mark. Craig Eugene has it for Thornley. The half back line. Looking forward into the centre of the ground. He kicks the shame. Oh, not a, not a very good kick. Picks it up running. Looks up the ground. Kicks forward. The race is on Adam West. And the ball's going to beat him over the line. And we'll have another boundary throwing.
In it comes again. Here we go. Now the two Ruckman at it again. Got on Johnson. No one gets a tap away. Chapman gets a quick kick away there now. Play on. The ball's obviously touched. Troy McDonald's still working very hard and he's rewarded with a free kick. Outnumbered there. Goes out wide. Craig Eugene again. Getting a few positions this quarter. Kicks into the four line for 50. And a great sliding mark taken by Nathan Maroney. About 45 metres out. He races back. Slight breeze. He should be able to go close to this distance here. Yeah, he should put it close to here. And well, he comes. He's run up, hasn't he? And that's a long kick. And he sprayed it to the left-hand side for another behind there for Thornley. A little bit of in inaccurate kicking. Could took be costing like a, them. Took off like a sprinter there, Scott. It was out of the blocks real quick. <laughs> It's a kick in for Wanneroo, goes short in the forward pocket. Comes right back across goals here to Michael Lewis. Takes a bounce, Cypher closing, just gets his kick away and that was undisciplined play there by Ryan Cypher. There was no need for that. And Scruff Lewis goes back and has a look and uh, lets him know Gavin Stampoli has got the ball now on the wing position for Wanneroo. No need for those sort of things. No, not at all. Over the back, no one there. Wally, can he keep it in? No, he can't. And it'll be another th rather throw in in the attacking forward area for Wanneroo. BLA works his way to the front. Shane Millington attacks the ball. No, he's got support, he's got time. He kicks it up forward. Adam West is behind. And the ball's raced out of bounds by... Aaron Humphrey BB. This sees it over the line. Throwing again the fall in the 50. Taken away by Wanneroo. Cooper gets it to Rayner. Rayner on the left foot there into the centre of the ground. Chapman running the wrong way of the ball. Ball bounces awkwardly. Oh, up and under they go. Great tackle there. Great tackle there by Heyman up forward. Don't know what he's doing up there. In the back line. Diving the ball, a lot of pressure on there now. Comes out though, Dad. Oh, another great tackle from Wanneroo. Can't take Bell, can't get control. Gets a handball to nobody though. Adam Ooh, West going still in hard now. Looks up forward. No one there. And Chris Cable takes the mark. There's a couple of Wanneroo blokes here loose. A bit slow to get the ball on though. Still, still slow. Gets on to Stanfield. stanfield has got it now. There's another one who Blake loose here. He's got to get the ball on quickly though. And he does, and Rainer's by himself. Rainer can go on now, go long if he wants. Decides to duck one tackle. Gets still got plenty of time. Kicks it awkward looking kick though. Up they go. Gibson spores from behind. Wally tries to take position. Can't get it there. Still Wally though. Has the advantage though. Takes it in front of him though. Keeps going, gets the bounce. Handball's in front of him again, but there's nobody there for one or And it's taken away by Clinton Slump. Takes one bounce. Running out of the back line. On his right foot. Kicks up forward. Very Not much there. Kick. Bounces over his head. Craig Eugene picks it up one hand. Still going, Craig Eugene. Chapman in there. And forces the ball up. Should have done Chris, a little bit better there, uh, Thornley. Chris Wally's got one in the solar plexus by the looks of it. He's not looking good. He's been a danger there for Wanneroo today. Tap ball for Thornley. Adam West goes up. He picks it up. Dodges one. Straightens himself up. Goes with goals. And that's out and on the full. Straight across the face of goals and no, out not. of bounds in the forward pocket. Sorry. Nearly Should've 15 done. minutes into the third quarter, the 98 grand final, deep in Thornley's forward line. Should have done better with that, West. Had a chance to steady there, Scott. Could have done a lot better. Throw in, grabbed by Cypher. Hands out. Chris Lewis picks it up, hands back to Troy McDonald, snaps over his shoulder. Not a very good kick, no distance in that. Picked up by Shane Curry, tackled hard. Picked up by West, no, tackled hard tackle. again. And Wanneroo, oh, kick out to Chapman. Good play there by Wanneroo. Chapman, Chapman ducks one. Like a cork in the ocean. Chapman goes forward it's just now. Wanneroo's got the run of the ball here. Heyman, if you can get hold of it. Oh, he's given the kick away. Wanneroo could have had a run then and uh, given the silly free kick away. Yeah, they certainly muffed that, didn't they, Glenn? That was some good defence, good solid defence there, Scott. 
A lot of pressure kept on the uh, Thorny players. Up the floor line. Chris Lewis goes up with Thorny. Ball comes in front of the pack. Lewis goes again. And it's run out by Wanneroo. Kicks out Ooh, wide. Gets oh, it. Wanneroo oh, kick. Coming through is Kenny. Oh, Cook. the back oh, of the bounce. It's picked up by Sills now. Sills has one bounce. Looks forward. Oh, mongrel looking kick. Sheriff does well though. Keeps it in front of him. Still keeps it in front of him, but to no advantage though. Kenny Crook makes up. Slump kicks up to Billo. Billo takes a good marking in front of Gibson. Ooh. Billo looks up. He goes wide at Troy McDonald in front. He doesn't attack the ball. He waits for it to bounce. Should have attacked that. Troy McDonald's still going. Ball on the ground. Three against one. On Great play from one really getting the numbers back there. Sills in there again. Can't still get the control of the ball. Anyone's footy still. Everyone's having a go at it now. Oh, great play there from Thornley. Shane Curry out to Jason Holmes. He kicks long. He's got the hard one. Over the back of the pack. And over the line, rush behind for Thornley. Seventeen minutes into the la into the third quarter. Bazo kicks in for one of Sees a loose man out there. And Rainer's got it again. Bazo runs on again. Great play from Daniel Bazo. And the ball's going to go to him again. Kicks it out in front of him. Not a real good kick, though. Very, Bazo's made all the effort to get there. And the kick was an absolute shocker. And the ball raced out of bounds in front of John Beale. Change for Thorny. Jason Holmes off and Benny Gloss on for his first run. Disappointing that Scott. A man makes all the effort to run out there. And the, and the pass is an absolute Barry Crocker. Yeah, she's got to make more opportunity. Yeah, Gibson. Sensational work from Rod Gibson out the back. Gibbo gives it out to Wally. Wally goes forward now. Puts it out in front for um, Stone Sheriffs. Slump there, hassling him out. He's still there, still trying hard. Can't get possession. He get a free and kick. And another Ball soft free ball. kick. There's the one room, but Stephen Sills all by himself. No, no one there. The ball's on the deck. Cooper gets in. Oh, he'll get a kick for that. No, he won't. Jeez. Oh, I thought there was a kick in that. I thought he caught one a bit high. Wonder who has the numbers. Chapman's got it now. Gives it to Bazo. Bazo through the traffic. Gives it to Gibson. Gibson looks out wide where Ricky Heyman's on the lead. Can't take possession. Doesn't get up quick enough. Good and second effort there quick. by Hardingham. Gibson's in this one. Done well again, Rod Gibson. Keeps control. Knocks the ball out looking for Chapman. But it's not the... Oh, he's got a free kick. Yes, he was shoved right in the middle of the back there, Glenn. Gibson, one of the older blacks of the Wanneroo side, putting in like a young bloke. Wanneroo still yet to score a goal in this quarter. Gibson goes in short, sees a man, and that's Scotty Francis has got it on the 55 metre mark. Still too far out to score. Looking for something. No much movement there. Everyone's running, everyone's running their backs to the ball at the moment. Still nothing to kick to. No one's attempted to make an even attempt to make a move. So he just bangs it wide now. Along. At the back of Steele. Can't get possession. Knocks it out beautifully to Wally. Wally on the right. Wally's he doesn't have a bad kick. Oh, he's missed it. No. Great effort. Good play by Robbie Steele, but it's only one point. Bonnaroo now 7-6 trailing. Leading Thornley, sorry, 3-9. Rodney Wally's having a big quarter this quarter. He's putting in a big effort in a lot of position. Scuffin kicks in for Thornley. Goes out wide, out over the Great 50 kick. again. Good long kick. Nath Moroni at the front of the pack. Picks it up. Paul Eddy on his own. Turns. He goes back. Brings it back into the centre of the ground. And he finds Shane Millington. Millington looks up forward. He kicks it long and high. Good grip. Uh, and it's a free kick holding, and that's going to be taken by West. He can nearly make the distance here, West. He's a very long kick. Yeah, kick it from about 53, goes back. He lets rip, it's high in the goal square. Cypher at the back, and that's a great goal of Thorley. Uh, 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 yep. That's what they wanted. Kicked by Ryan Cypher, and that's his second. Bad play by Wanneroo there. Always someone's going to be the back of the pack, and they flip the Thorny man Cypher all by himself. Yes, he had, had all the Wanneroo guys up, and no one's standing down. Hey, John Hathaway would not be happy with that at all. Not happy. 
I'm so sure the walker, I mean the runner will go out there and tell them that right now. So Thornley edging closer. Now 15 points to difference. Big quarter by Thornley. It's nearly. And it's a free kick Thornley in the, in the square. Round. Still Thornley have had one of his goals this quarter. That's another mongrel looking kick. Oh. And that's a good grab in front on his own is Paul Eddy. One of your better players today, Scott. He's certainly having a great game. That's a good kick too. At the billow. He's going up. On the umpire says play on. That should have been a mark. He goes again, goes Bill. Here's Ryan Cypher. Not a very good kick. And the umpire pays that mark. That's a better kick. Johnson kicks it forward now. Rod Willie there. He can't get his hands to it though. Chris Wally does. Oh, there's one steal brand by himself. Will the ball bounce though? No, it's not bouncing. It's bouncing away from him. He tries to knock it in. Not to anyone's luck. It's out of bounds. Oh, three for a point, sorry. Two Force Thornley for players rush it through from behind. Should have taken possession there and probably had enough time to swing around. There's not enough talking there. Scuffing and bring it back in again. 22 minutes gone. Not long to go now. That's another beautiful That's long kick. kick. Oh, great stuff there by, uh, by Gibson. Get his hand there. And Bazo keeps the ball in there now. Well done by Rod Gibson. Good work. Just had enough time to get his hand out and spoil the mark. Probably Thornley. save you guys Thornley from running on there and getting into attack because he was there away. You had a bloke loose on the side there and Gibson's just put his hand in. Just to hold it up. Banshee throwing again. Chapman gets his kick away. Sheriff in front. Oh, well he had to pull the ball. Overruns it though. Cooper comes in after him, behind him. Chapman back in there again, can't get control. Cooper gets it out. They go in hard there now, and there'll be another bounce up. And the umpire comes in and says, give it to me, boys. We'll That's have another 75 bounce. metres out from the Wanneroo goal. Um. So at three-quarter time in the 98 grand final, we have Wanneroo 7-7, leading Thornley 4-9. Wanneroo will come home with a slight breeze. That quarter, Wanneroo kicked three points at Thornley at 2-2. Two -two. Okay, about to get underway for the last quarter of 1998 Grand Final. Umpire ball has ball in hand. Oh, Umpire Levitsky it is. Back up they go now. Big punch by Bielo for Thornley. Punched out again by Bielo. Eugene on the ground, gets it out. Into the forward line for Thornley. That's going to be a tight quarter this one. It's come Roberts out the back. gets the ball out. Taken away by Paul Eddy again. He has it knocked up getting kicks. Oh, solid mark. And then Adam, Adam West has got it again. Not much happening up forward for Thorny. Kicks it towards the hole. Ryan Cypher in front. Goes for it. Doesn't bring it down. Run out for Wanneroo. Roberts gets it out to Cooper. Cooper goes out wide. Looking for Stampalia. Oh, nearly a good mark. Good group. Thorny at the front of the ball. Though. Oh, there's a loose man out there all by himself. And there's a bit of biffo happening in the center of the ground. And that was a great play by young Bluey Granger. Spoiled the ball. Shane Millington roved it well and delivered a great kick to Benny Glossop. Comes in for shot at goal. Up to the top of the square. Need a mark. And there's a free kick to Wanneroo. And Rod Bluey will take the free kick for Wanneroo. In the last defensive line. Willie in the goal square now, looking for options. Goes in short. That's, that's dangerous. That's bad. Oh, kick. that is a crucial mistake. Picked up by Troy McDonald. Oh, he dropped by the ball, but got knocked out of his hand. Had to Shane Millington. Has a snap at goal. And it bounces out of bounds. Right oh. next to the uh, left behind post for Thornley. Crucial thing, Rod Willie. 
in that situation. Should have gone long and for the boundary. Got the breeze behind him. Kick it outside 50. If you're going to pass it, that's going to be 100%. Quick kick out of the pack there now. Gibson fighting for it all over him and he'll get a free kick, the old veteran. Oh, Wiley Fox has got it now. Gibson goes back. He's looking for something up field. Kicks into the centre of the ground there. And Bell's got the ball. Bell goes back now, looks, sees something out wide, goes long. That's a pretty good kick out there. They all go up. No one can take the mark. Sheriff there. Scuffman fights his way through the pack, kicks it out towards the boundary line and the bounce is over. On the far wing. In front of the Bennett Hardware scoreboard, which reads Thornley 4 9, trailing Wanneroo 7 7. Early minutes into the last quarter of the grand final. Buckman go up, no one gets a knockout. It's on the deck again. Wanneroo knocked the ball out. Everyone goes in hard. And the umpire comes in and says, Give it to me, fellas, we'll have another bounce. Plenty of endeavour being shown on early, early parts here at the last quarter from both sides. Everyone realises what's at stake here now. There's a bounce, one by Beal. Comes down the back of the pack, Jason Hines fighting for it. And we'll have another ball up on the half forward line there for Thornley. Well, we're going this last quarter, Scott, the umpire will have RSI. Bounce it that many times. Well, hopefully by the end of the game, you might get one to go straight up in here. There it is, straight up. Good knock. No one oh, Bell spins only. out of the tackle, gets a handball out. Roberts gets his foot to the ball. Doesn't go anywhere, though. Balls throw back into play. Oh, Mitch is going there solemnly. They are now. And once again. Oh, hello. Just a bit of a, bit of a square dance happening in the middle of the ground now. Just boys getting to know each other. Oh, he throws it up this time. There goes the knock. Willie goes up hard. No one gets a kick, a, a kick away. Thornley take possession. Still there. Humphrey's in hard. Roberts is in there as well. Comes Can't take possession again. Ball's on the deck. Anyone's footy. Everyone wants it at the moment. And we'll have another ball up in the same spot. Right on the edge of the square in Thornley's attacking half. Four and a half minutes now into the final quarter. Willie goes up high, gets to knock down a Gibson. Gibson kicks it forward. And there's one down the field, I think. Yes. Down the field, and Stephen Sills will take the kick for Wanneroo. Pushed in the back after he kicked it. Didn't see that one either, Scott. Sills goes forward now, looking for Heyman. Will it bounce for him? No, it doesn't. Wanneroo got the numbers there? No, Thorny got the numbers there. And Eugene takes it away. At the scuffing, leading in the race for the ball. Will it sit for him? Yes, it does. He No. Just runs out of room on the far side there. Well attacked there by Craig Hardingham. It's the probably the oblong shaped ball, mate. Won't bounce when you need it to. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, good hands. Oh, didn't burn the target, though. And another throw up. Could be, could be a lot of that done tonight at both clubs. I'd say there will be. Chances are I'll probably be one of them. <laughs> I'll back in. Okay. Oh, well done by Scotty Francis. Good ball control. I've heard Scotty's always had good ball control, but there it goes. It's out of bounds again for another throw in. Ooh. Cooper got to now. Kicks it four for one and Deep in the forward line. But no one there at home. Clinton Slomp takes the mark. Plays on quickly. Kicks to Kenny Crook in the back pocket for Wanneroo. He plays on again. Goes in short to Nathan Maroney. Still inside the wall. Wanneroo 50. Looks out wide. He kicks to the centre of the ground. Oh, and shocking bad kick. kick. And shocking Chapman kick. takes it. Chapman's got it. Goes on quickly. Is it Wanneroo Blake Lucy? Will he take the mark? Yes, he does. Stephen Sills. That's got a worse kicking action than Dougie Walters. Eight of a breeze, about 35 metres out. The goal here would make it very hard for Thornley. 
Not a bad looking kick, I tell you what, he's put it straight through the high little bubble. And that's Stephen Sills' second goal. One really late goal, seven now, leading Thornley four goals, nine. And a great kick and a uh, good pass from Chapman, one of the better players today for Wanneroo. It's going to be hard for Thornley now. They still can fight back. they got to get the next goal. Just over seven and a half. Time's on their side. Here comes umpire the bouncer again. Up she goes. In goes Bilo, they hit it hard. Jason Nunch is first to get there. Through comes Dean Scuffin off the ground. He's still got time. The ball doesn't sit for him again. He goes again off the ground. Oh, and this time he gets a bad bounce to missing it. Jason Nunch is to back him up. Got the numbers. Adam West comes up to help him out. He can't pick it up either. He's got time. He gets around the first opponent. Kicks long into the forward line. And at the back of the pack, Thorny goes up. Everyone goes up. And comes out the back. Cable soccer it didn't get very far, though. Shane Millington gets it. And, it'll and be a it's another ball up. About 35 metres out, straight in front of the Thornley goals. Your uh, Troy McDonald seems to be limping badly there, Scott. Trainers with him now. Kicked yeah, out boy. by Bell. Wally can't take it. Thornley had the numbers. One or somehow Stampley comes out with it. Picked up by Moroni. Spins. Handballs out to Eugene. Chappy hits him hard. Eugene keeps control across to Paul Eddy. Looks up forward. That's a bad kick. Yeah, he should have done a lot better with that. All one -a out to Robert. Roberts goes on out wide now. Out to the Leicester Place man. Gibson gets it now. Oh, have Gibson a look at that. Short looking for Stamfalia and he takes the mark. Yeah, so uh, you're right there, Glenn. Troy McDonald coming off. Stamfalia keeps it wide now. No one can take the mark at the back of Scotty Francis who run down, but he gets his boot to the ball. Oh, what, pretty ordinary happened? bounce there for Wanneroo. Thorley with numbers. Oh, good pressure from Sheriff. Sills is still there. Good pressure as well. Wanneroo trying hard to keep the ball in the forward line. Coach would be happy with this effort. Good hands from Brent uh, off the Craig Eugene. He missed that one. Spins. Gets around out of the tackle again. Holmes tats it down. Scuffins there. Brent Craig Eugene again. Off to Shane Millington in the middle of the ground. Kicks it low. Up to Adam West. He gets around the first block again. Kicks it high in the air. Shane Curry contests. Nathan Maroney. Oh, Mick Robert. Mick Lewis kicks it forward. Jason Holmes is there as it comes out. Gets around. Gets his handle away in time. Cypher back to Millington. Millington steady. Straightens up. Goes long. No, it doesn't quite make the distance. Benny Gloss about numbered here. Two to one. Still fighting hard. Hands back forward. Dwayne Hamilton drops the ball. Oh, great pick up from Bazo and heads straight for the boundary line. Great desperation from one of his defence. Not giving anything away. Good play by Thornley though. Out number three to one he was and managed to keep the ball in there for quite a while. Great effort. About 60 metres around from the Thornley goal. Here comes the throw. Oh, great back. knock from Willie. Gives it to Wally. That sounds like a cliche. Wally kicks it forward to Sills. Sills gets the run of the ball. Oh, they're losing. Still knocks it forward ones. still. Ball still in play. Sills has got him. Ball still in there. Still back in there. Can't get it. Sills, a great effort. And the ball's over the line. And out of bounds for a throw in. Oh, Half right, forward line for Wanneroo. in Bill grabs it handballs out to Craig Eugene looks up field kicks it long there's no one back there for Thornley Shane Curry Lewis Bad gets bounce. the ball like he's got it on a string gets it on the left boot look great pass great pass and found Scotty Francis great play for Mick Lewis Francis goes to the center half four position now looking for Sheriff goes over his head that's a good grab there by Clinton Slump Craig Hardingham bursts out the other side of the ground, but he doesn't see him. Goes right down the middle, does slump. In the air, West at the back, good loop, but doesn't quite grab it and gives it away. Kick. Mick Lewis, well played, Mick Lewis. Look in the centre, there's two loose, but no, he doesn't see those. Oh, here's, a, here's an orphan over here, Chapman all by himself. 
Sees him, but it's a bit late. Goes for uh, for Sheriff again. Oh, nearly a mark. Doesn't take it. Stampoli is there. Can't get a hand on it. Cooper does. Gets around on his left. Gets a handball out to Francis. Francis gets through one tackle. Gets a handball out to Sheriff. Sheriff back on his right boot. Looking for a lead now. Goes forward towards Heyman. Heyman beaten pointlessly there. And a good mark. Hardingham out the back to Kenny Crook. Kicks to Dean Scuffin on his own. Oh, just grabs hold of it. Moroney, Moroney keeps on running. He's got Paula Halloran with him. Well done, so Blake Gibson. Way to numbers. Moroney can run the whole length of the ground here if he wants. One bounce, two bounce. Gets round, takes another bounce. Keep going, son. Kicks it long to... Holmes. Jason Holmes gets Holmes. around the tackle, gets around one, gets around two now. He shoots up from 35 metres. Off and target. And he misses the left-hand side. That was a good build-up of play there by Thornley. Great football. Just needed to finish it off a little better. Just a little bit of inaccurate kicking here for his cost and Thornley dearly. That's oh, a bad what a kick. Second kick. But it's bounced. A fortuitous bounce and Scotty Francis picks it up and bombs it back in the forward line for one aru. Doesn't bounce, kind bounce doesn't come there for one aru. He's got time. He's got Eugene on his own. He sees him. He finds him. That's a good kick. Eugene has a look. There's not much movement. There's a short kick to Millington. Oh, put right under the pump there. And he's got a free kick for too high. Crowd not happy with that decision. Millington goes in short. Missed by Glosser, but he's got time to recover. Hands off to O'Halloran. Turns back in the play. Gives it the scuffing. Quick snap. It's at the front of the square. Everyone up. Good punch away for Wanneroo. And Rayner. Rayner takes it out wide. Oh, Chapman has an absolute paddock. Doesn't know what to do with it, though. Hands it under the basil. The barrel runs. Gets a bad bounce, though. Still there, though. Wanneroo's still there. Good effort by Gibson. It's only keep the ball in. Back to O'Halloran. O'Halloran. At the young Bluey Granger. He looks forward. There's a short kick. Over the top of the pack. Misses everybody. Wanneroo has the numbers. Roberts gets it out. Oh, shocking kick. Absolutely did not look. Just put it on his boot. For the handball yeah, to Stan Lee would have been to Owenroo's advantage. Bad play there by Eugene as well. Glennie Turney's back on the play. Kicks it wide into the pocket. Benny Glossop at the front. Gives the hands off to Dwayne Hamilton along the ground. Oh, well done by Bell. And, and the ball goes over the line. There's a throw in. The two Ruckman go at it. Fourth forward by Beal. They all dive on top of it. Millington brings it out to Hamilton. Oh, what a pretty Cable. And they force it through for a behind. Great work from Cable there. <clears throat> and Wayne Rayner runs it over for a point. Thornley's still fighting hard with the ball in there, forward 50. And he'll have to take that. Ball's got to come again. back. The umpire's too slow, waving the flags. There's Wally out here, Wise are coming out that direction. Yes, it is. That's a good kick from Bazo. Wally all by himself. Oh, drops an absolute sitter, then falls up, then doesn't get up quick enough. And then give away a free kick. No, he didn't. Thought he did. Should have held on to that. Made a meal of that one. Fifteen and a half minutes gone in the last quarter. The 98 grand final. There's a throw in. Curry from behind. Big knock. West in front. Still keeps in front of him. Still going as West. And he's just run out of room, according to the umpire. Deep in Thornley's attacking area, though. Been threatening for quite a while here, Scott. Haven't been able to put one on the board. No, they need a few on but the board. She had a lot of endeavour this quarter, but haven't been able to put the score on the board. There's a throw in. Lewis doesn't take possession though. Holmes overruns it, picked up by Millington. Quick kick. Glossop at the back, jostling. Ball comes to the forward, front of the pack. No one there oh, for Warren. Bounce. Thornley. And, and Roberts forces it through for another behind to Wanneroo. Wanneroo defence right under the pump then. The defence has stood up safety. well all day though. Defence has been very strong. Goes out wide. Lewis. Lewis takes the mark, plays on quickly now, runs around one. Oh, an absolute pie floater. 
a shocker. Eugene controls it well. He does a look away hand pass to Scuffin. Scuffin wasn't ready for it. He goes well done by Stan Polia. Good pressure from Stan Polia. The ball's out of bounds for a throw in. Chris Wally off. Andrew Wall and Andrew Walden back on. Here on centre wing, right in front of the commentary box here. Punched by Bielo. Eugene overruns it. Holmes well, tackles, Stan good Polia. tackle. Didn't no attempt to get rid of it. Got away with it though. Francis gets it now, looks for something to kick to. Gets a boot to it now. Johnson leads in the race of the ball. Oh, a very ordinary bounce. Still doesn't bounce. Johnson's still there. Gibson comes from nowhere. Knocked the ball out. Cook punches it forward to Bill. Bill looks up, kicks it forward. Hamilton in front. Well done by Lewis. Good sport. Good defensive football from Lewis. And it's over line and out of bounds. Players looking very tired now. 4-12 Thorny, 8-7 Wanneroo. Gibson gets it, gets his boot to the ball. Big kick in the forward line. Oh, Sheriff couldn't take it there. Sills puts a bit under pressure. Thorny with the numbers though. Brindenberry's got time if he can grab it. He does. Grab, gets past one, gets past two. Ball stands there. Cooper's got it now. Handball's off to Stampolia. Stampolia kicks it straight up in the air. Oh, good spoil from Sills. Ooh, All high right. tackle. Got away with it though. Only one bounce, two bounces, he's running through the centre, Chappie closing, no he's not, he puts his foot on an accelerator and he's gone. Maroney, another bounce, another, he's still going. Mark. Steadies, oh and that's a very, and that's very ordinary kick. shocking result out of that kick. Roberts, great defence from one real, all that work's wasted Scott. Very now Chapman, of that. two bounces, this is slower than me, kicks the ball, and there's a free kick down the field. Very this is football from Cormie. Into the 19 minute mark now, about 14, about four minutes to go. Wanneroo by 19. Chapman goes in short. So it wasn't Chapman. Steele goes in short and found. Oh, Walden. Walden's got it now. Walden goes long into the forward line. Oh, who's up there? Thornley, everybody up. Good That's mark there from Halloran, I think it is. Good strong mark yeah, by good Paul Halloran in front. Good. Looking for someone. No one's moving for him. He's kicked out wide to Eugene. Oh, he's just oh, missed bad it. Bad bounce. Cooper's got it. Gets it off. Gibson's got it now. Gibson goes in short. Looking for a couple of leads there. And he's found one. Sills has got it again. Great pass from, from Gibson. Stephen Sills. Started on the bench today. And so far it's come on and kicked two goals. Great effort. He's only 35 metres out on a very slight angle. He's a good long kick, he's young Hills. 20 minutes, about three minutes to go. This will just about put out a reach for Thornley. One reckon starts celebrating back-to-back -back grand Hills. finals. And pretty close. I think he's jolted and it's a winner. That one. That's put down the glasses, it's all over 1998. One are going to win back-to-back -back reserves premiership. 9-7 Wanneroo. Thornley, four goals, 12. As the crowd starts to leave. Oh, I saw a couple of people move in the grandstand anyway. All back in the centre of the ground. Time running out here for Thornley. They need a big lift in a big hurry. Gibson's been good for one Wanneroo since he's come on after half time. Up they go again. No one can take a clean possession of it. Gibson again with a handball, great handball out to Stamplea. Stamplea kicks it up now, picks it up quickly looking for Sheriff. Goes over his head though. Hardingham leading for the race of the ball. Bad bounce again, missed it. And, and he's out of just, bounce. Uh, and there will be a throw in deep line. in the right full forward pocket. Patrick O'Connor coming on for his first run of the day. Congratulations, Patty. He's been there all year, played every game. Missed out last week, but got back in the side this week. And he's going to be part of the 1998 Shane Grand Final Premiership gets around, win. Kicks the centre of the ground. Craig Eugene on his own. He gets a good bounce. He looks up forward. He goes out wide. There's no one breaking for him. I don't know where he's going. Oh, good play by Rayner. And the water in Francis had to by himself. Again. Francis gets the ball on. Oh, shame. Aaron Humphrey shows him the footy. It's like show me the money, is it? Away they go. Cooper socks it off on the ground. No, no, it's FA Cup. 
Chapman, a little toe poke out the sample here. He can't take possession. Oh, Halloran's got it. Keeps the ball in play. He goes oh, around. good tackle. Play on. Off to Moroni. What's he going to do this time? He runs around. He takes another bounce. He's electrifying. Where's he going? He's going the wrong way. And he's, he's gone. Gone, for money. gone for all money. Oh, and Steele just lets him know that and his dad is holding the ball. And yes, Robbie Steele has a future as an umpire. I think Robbie Steele has a future as an umpire. I think oh, yes, he's still well. He, he had the yeah, technique no, he right, had the, had the steel, down pat. Though. I like the way he bent his knee, though, and actually yeah. just... Yeah, that was a beautiful... Um, I think the umpires could be talking to him after the game, trying to sign him up. This will be the last roll of the dice. And Andrew Walden kicks the goal. Yes, One it is. Home. Right through the middle. Get the champagne out. It's back to back. Great effort by John Hathaway to get these boys up to back to back premierships. This has been a terrific effort. Hello, the garden man's walking around. I'll be in the grandstand. Wouldn't be 15 seconds to go if we're lucky. It's been a great effort by Wanneroo today. They kept Final scores today, I think, will be 10 7 to 4 12. There it is, it that's is. it. Wanneroo, back to back premiers in the reserves. 1998 premiers, 10 7, defeating Thornley, 4 goals 12. Kickers, goal kickers for Wanneroo, Hills 3, Heyman 2, 1 each to Cooper, Sheriff, Willie, Walden, and Wally. And for Thornley, Two to Cypher, one to Adam West, and one to Craig Eugene. Well, Scott, a decisive win there to Wanneroo. It was a very decisive win there in the end. They had to held, held their heads high all day, and good discipline there in that last line of defence there. Their back line really kept them in it. Never gave, never gave anything away. They never sort of let them try to score an easy goal. Every goal they scored was very hard. Very Great defence from Wanneroo. And a uh, well-deserved victory. Just repeating the 1998 grand final victory to Wanneroo. 10-7, 67, defeated Thornley, 4-12, 36. This game brought to you by WTV Productions. <laughs>